some areas you should consider on your monitoring journey. It's not going to mention any specific tools though. I'm happy to chat after about your situation. There's a wide range of monitoring challenges and possible solutions. Is your hair on fire? Do customers keep calling you about problems with your service? Do you need to install monitoring to find the cause of those fires? You are in the right place. This presentation has nothing to do with IBM, even though I work there. These opinions are all my own. IBM has some great lawyers. I don't want to end up here again. <laughs> Early in my career, I became very interested in monitoring when I received phone calls that made me look stupid. I should have known the office file server was out of space, or the email server had been down all morning. You should think of monitoring in layers. At the bottom is infrastructure. Things like servers and network. Metrics like CPU, memory, and disk. If you're running in the cloud, you may not have access to infrastructure though. Next is applications. Things like Apache. Just because your server is running, doesn't mean it's doing anything. Some tools and languages have instrumentation libraries that you can embed inside your application. Services. This is really where you need to be focused. As you go higher in the monitoring stack, it becomes more difficult. Some tools in this area have the ability to trace transactions. The cherry on top is customer experience. Using customer complaints is not a good technique. Would you know if your website is serving internal error pages? If you can manage all of that, you really want to know how much money you're losing if your service is down. If you expect a certain number of orders every day and nothing came in today, you should probably know that. Where is your pain? That's probably where you should start. Don't boil the ocean. Start small and focused. Keep your initial scope small. Prove something will work or fail. Every tool has a learning curve. Start collecting and visualizing data. Observe metrics to understand how your service is performing. It takes a while to understand what normal looks like. When the next incident happens, you may be able to diagnose it faster, providing better customer experience. You may need to push and pull data. Your central monitoring system is either going to initiate a lot of connections or receive a lot. If the data is not consumed fast enough, what happens to it? Is it thrown away? There's no single monitoring tool that's going to rule them all. You will be using multiple solutions. If you're lucky, some will integrate with each other. You'll be spending a lot of time configuring each of them. Each tool was born to do one thing really well. A lot of them think they are the center of the universe. If you're lucky, some will integrate with each other. Uh, over time, you features have grown. Just because you can use something doesn't mean you should. Does your organization want to build everything itself? Does it want to buy everything as a service? You need to find a way to create ownership in your monitoring challenges. Monitoring is an investment in the future. Where can you get support? You'll either be paying your internal people to learn or buying external support. How easy is it to learn about your tool? When something goes wrong, can you get the help you need? Beware of tools that are difficult to change. Do you need to make an enhancement request to a vendor? As new metrics are needed, can you get them from your tool? Are plugins available? Do you need to write custom code? Things are going to break. Rules that wake someone up may be different than during the day. You may want to wait for two or more failures in a row before alerting. You may want groups of metrics to trigger before alerting. Everyone should be involved with monitoring. It's not just something for the monitoring team. How do you turn monitoring into a game? Hide the wins it has delivered. Publish metrics showing the value. Start small and focused. Decide which monitoring layer to work on first. You need to be proactive, not reactive. Start now before you lose customers. It's going to take months to get something useful running. Right?